hope you're having a great day today. All right, today is our Less Stuff, More Life Challenge for you this week. These are my shorter videos, but these are the ones that sometimes when you just make a short, small little change in your life, you'll see like a significant change in a few months from now, in a few weeks from now, in a year from now. Just think if you choose one of these Less Stuff, More Life Challenges that I'm giving you this, week, this whole entire year, 2020, if you just choose to do a few of them and consistently keep with them, by the end of the year, how much better and further ahead physically, emotionally, and spiritually you will be. Yes, it will. I guarantee it. If you just jump on and choose a few, if you don't want to do all 52, that's great. But if you do choose to do some, what an impact it will make on your life. And they're small little changes. So these videos are for the ones that like the small videos. <laughs> the super short ones, this will be real quick, but it does give you something to make a positive impact to your life. So this week, we are on week four already. Chapter four, pretty cool. If you wanna get this book, this book is free. Look in the link in the description below. You can go, it'll take you to my blog. You just click on it and download it. There's no like signing up. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to click here, buy here, or do this. It's free. Just go and click on it, download, save it to your phone, and you can do this along with this. You can maybe look ahead and see, okay, I don't wanna watch this week or I'm not gonna do this week. Whatever you want, it's all free. If you want a physical copy, you have to go to Amazon and buy that one. But I do have PDFs all free on my blog. So this week, you know this challenge is this week? This is something that made a huge impact in my life physically, and it's to drink more water. We all know that, right? We know how we're supposed to have more water, but when you really do drink more water and see the impact it makes on you, it's amazing. I know for myself, this was years ago, um, because I drink a lot of water now, like every day, I would get like headache, 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 and I'd have back pain constantly. I would always grab for the Tylenol on the Motrin every single day and take it and be like, oh, I don't know, I just feel like I have a headache coming on. And I would take it and I would do that. And then also halfway through my day, I would go and be like, oh, I gotta get my coffee. I'm feeling so tired. And I would get a cup of coffee just to help boost me up. It didn't boost me up very much, but I thought it did in my own mind. Coffee keep me motivated for the day. And it also was quite heavier than I am right now. So when I started drinking more water in my day, I started replacing sodas, juices, a lot of the coffees that I had, teas, things like teas are good for you. But when I started replacing with water, I saw like a huge change in my body, obviously for one, I lost a lot of weight. I have a huge weight loss journey that I made. It was 80 pounds, 80 pounds, and I don't know, 10 dress sizes, something like that, or seven dress sizes, I don't know. I have it on my blog post down there. But just by taking and drinking more water every day, exercising as well, that was sort of in the mix too, but I didn't really change my food habits the first time I lost the weight because I have nine, 10 kids, and after nine is when I started doing my weight loss. But just by drinking a lot of water, it helped hugely. If you just do that, if you're struggling to lose weight right now or you're just feeling awful, just cut out your sodas and drink water. I know, it's hard. Okay, if you can't cut out those sodas, you know what you can do? Get the smaller cans, like, I know they have the regular big old cans, like a regular can of soda. Get the mini ones and just drink that. Or get a bottle and just pour half in a glass and just have that half for the day and say, okay. But first, before I drink that can of soda, I'm gonna have a whole glass of water and drink an entire glass of water, a bigger glass of water, and then have your soda afterwards if you're still thirsty or if you still crave it. Those were good things that helped me lose the weight. And then I also know that just by drinking it, I wasn't as tired as I normally are. And I know even now, like I know when I get tired throughout the day, because I get up early, I'm a four or five o'clock in the morning person. And usually if I have through the day, you know, I get tired and normally I would grab a cup of coffee or I want to go to Starbucks and get a coffee or make a cold brew at home. So what I've been doing is just getting a cup and drinking water. Now you might not feel like an immediate change, but I do start feeling like, well, okay, I do feel a lot better and drinking that. When I start getting a headache during the day, I go, oh, I don't first thing grab for Tylenol, which I used to do. First thing I do is, oh, get a cup of water and I drink water. If you don't have water in your body properly, usually it makes you hungry, it makes you feel headachy, and it just makes you feel yucky all around, right? You're constipated, you're dealing with those issues, drink more water, it will help all of those systems flow properly. So water can do what? It can help promote weight loss. When you think you're hungry, you're usually just thirsty. It boosts your immune system because you know what you're doing? You're flushing out the toxins from your body. When my kids are sick, what do the doctors tell you? Drink lots of fluids, why? Because you're dehydrated and you're flushing out those toxins. And when the most common cause of daytime fatigue is 
dehydration, so drink some water. You get less headaches, yes. It can help your back pain. I know it helped my back pain. I don't deal with back pain at all anymore. I thank the Lord for that one, but I also thank him for the wisdom to drink more water, to lubricate my body, to lubricate my joints with the liquid. It helps your skin complexion look better. Yes, it's a natural moisturizer because you're not moisturizing from the outside, you're moisturizing from the inside. Drink plenty of water. Do you know what something else it'll do? It'll make you richer. <laughs> what? It depends on if you gotta pay for water or not, but instead of buying eight, seven dollar Starbucks, Usually, even if you buy water, it's like a dollar fifty a bottle. So get it at home; it's free. So we all know how it's good to drink water, right? But it's harder. These things all take implementing and doing them, right? Like the first week, you had all this your list of things to do that you want to change, and I hope that you're working on those as well. Make sure that you just say, okay, I need to do this this week so I can keep on task. Those are what you do. But for water, what can you do to drink water? Because usually you'll go all day and you're like, oh, I forgot to drink my water. So what I do is I set up triggers. I know that in the morning, I like my cup of coffee. I like two cups of coffee every morning. I drink that. Now before I have a snack or even get to the lunchtime hour that I eat, I make sure that I drink two full containers of water. Right now, I'm using this. This is what I like my cup, my cup of water in. Just one I like right now in the winter time. I will drink two of these and then I can have my lunch. Then in the afternoon before dinner, I'll make sure I drink two more of these. I try to drink most of my water during the day versus at night because if you do it at night, guess what you have to do all night long? You have to get up and go to the bathroom. Never fun. <laughs> so drink them, set up triggers, okay? Before 10 o'clock, I'm gonna drink one glass or mug. I know there was at one time, um, I got a water bottle one time. I had given it to a mom. It was a product review, probably find it on Amazon. And it had, it was, the, it was a nursing mom's water bottle. But on the water bottle, it had times, like for the line. So on the water bottle, it would have like, start down here and it'd be like nine o'clock. And you'd drink that much before nine. Then it was like 10 o'clock. Every, it had like the whole day on it. And you would make sure that you would drink. Actually, it would go down this way. It wouldn't go up this way. <laughs> it would go down from the top. So you knew that you would drink this much by 10, this much by 11, this much by 12. And I'm like, that is the most genius thing ever. So, I don't know. This was when I first started doing YouTube and it was a long, long time ago and I got that product review and I'm like, well, that's a great idea. They probably have it. Search on Amazon, look for water bottle with um, time increments on it. I'm sure there's something on there. You gotta set up those triggers. If you don't set up those triggers, that water cup will sit on your counter all day and you'll look at it and be like, oh, I didn't drink water all day and I've done that. I do that even after years and years of drinking water. I'm like, oh, I didn't have anything to drink today. And then pay attention to your body. If you're starting to feel tired, go, okay, get a drink of water. I need a drink of water. If you're starting to feel headachey, go, oh, get some water. That's the first thing I tell my kids they start having a headache. I'm like, did you drink water today? Get that water inside of you. And another thing, good thing is having a good cup. You can just have a regular cup from your cupboard. That's fine to do. Sometimes it helps to have a water bottle. I go through different phases of the kind of water bottles I like. We just have a lot of people, so having cups is good, but sometimes it accumulates in your sink. You have tons in there, so we go through different kinds. These are good. These metal, or not metal, stainless steel water bottles. These are good for summer, like going out. I like these. Then I went through like where I wanted a cup with a straw because so I thought drinking from a straw does help like drink you suck in a whole lot more water. So this was good for me for a while until my straw broke. I cracked it and I don't have a straw anymore so I have to give me one. So this is the wrong straw to go in here but this works really good. But right now what I'm doing is this. I got these for Christmas. They're coffee mugs but I like filling these up. They stay cold. They don't sweat and I just drink it. And so for myself, I'm like, okay, I know I need to drink four of these a day or whatever my limit is. And how much water do you drink a day? I don't know, eight glasses of water a day? I don't know, whatever the rules. I always read it was half your weight in ounces. So get your body weight and go half of it. And then that's how much water you should drink each day. Drink more, drink less. I know when I first started drinking water, I constantly go to the bathroom. Every time I turn around, I'm like, I gotta go to the bathroom. I gotta go to the bathroom. So that's okay. It's flushing out your body. Your body will eventually slow down. I know now still, if I drink a lot, I still have to go to the bathroom, but not, it's not as bad as it used to be when I first started doing it. So just get used to that. You're gonna have to go to the bathroom. That's a good thing. Your urine should be not as yellowy or orangey color. It should be a whole lot lighter colored. So that's a good way to know if you're getting enough water. What are some ways if you don't like water? Oh, I've been there, don't like water. Sometimes I know even this past few months, the taste of water is just gross to me. I don't know why, it just is. Just a different phase in life. There's so many things you can do. You can add some lemon to it, like real lemon, lemon juice. You can add, um, when we were um, going to a Mennonite church, they took peppermint oil and just dipped it in the peppermint oil, like um, the flavoring and peppermint extract and then put it in their water and, just, and then just dipping that, like a toothpick in peppermint extract and putting their water and swirling it. That made a nice refreshing drink and I'm like, well, oh, that is actually really good. You can do the same thing with a candy cane 
or whatever. That was something else we enjoyed. You can add um, orange segment. They have those water bottles where you put the fruit in the middle and then it like does the water fruit diffusers. <laughs> Fruit infuser, that's the name I'm looking for. They have those types of water bottles, which works out really good. You can also add a packet of vitamin C to your water. People do that and just kind of, you know, make it more watery. You can get peppermint tea bags as well, like the green tea, and you just stick them there. I used to do a lot of the natural teas when I was pregnant and having babies and like the mother's milk tea. I didn't really like having hot tea, but I would put that in my water bottle and it would just absorb and do it. I know in the summertime I take my tea bag back here. I have, this is really good, strawberry water. I don't really like tea at all, but this fruit flavored tea, so, so good. So one of my friends gave me watermelon tea one time and it was the best tasting stuff ever. And I haven't been able to find it. I did this summer at the discount store. Strawberry watermelon tea. This is great. Put this in there. You don't even have to use hot water. You can use ice water and it, and it will make its own tea. That's a good way to get water in it. They have those little like packets that you can put in your like a flavored water packet. That's another way. I know it's not completely fresh water but it is better than having nothing. So you can get those little packets to put in there that have no sugar. Um, just the flavored drinks, those kind of things. They have the water bottles. I know I like the water bottles where it's just the flavoring, not the sugar. Those are all just good ways sometimes when I'm just like, I don't feel like drinking water. I'll take one of those and drink it. Cause then I'm like, okay, I'm getting something there. Even though there's a few other things and it's not pure water, but it's better than nothing. So there are so many ways you can get water back into your diet. So, so that is what my challenge is for you this week is to drink more water. You know, set up those triggers. You're going to go, okay, today's Tuesday. I know that I have to drink two of these before lunch and then in the afternoon I'm gonna drink two more and then I'm done for the day. Don't don't save them all for nighttime because you'll go to the bathroom a lot during the day, get them in. And then tomorrow I'll go, okay, oops, fill my water bottle up. I'm gonna drink two of these before lunch and two of these after lunch. That's what you do. If you don't have water bottles, that's fine. Just use a regular cup. I like glasses as well, using glass, doing that, putting some ice in it. Some people like, I don't even like, sometimes I'll put ice in my ice, but sometimes I just like it more lukewarm water depending on how you feel with your water, so. All right, so what's our challenge? Drink more water, you're gonna do that this week and then continue on, we're just like you're doing the other ones, right? Like having breakfast, are you eating breakfast? Are you lowering your voice? Oh, I know, that's the hardest one. Remember, lower that voice, get tempted, do those things, all those good challenges. I got a link to the playlist below, we've got four videos now. Go back and watch which ones you wanna do so that you can set up and make some good little tiny changes in your life. These are small changes, not huge ones, but they're gonna make a big impact by the end of the year. So, all right, I hope you enjoyed today's video and I will see you again tomorrow with a whole nother day in my life. All right, bye-bye.